Hello again, uh, VC community, uh, psychedelic freaks. Here's the, the next installment of my psychedelic music. And I'm going to try and get through it quite quick, because uh, as always I only have 10 minutes before the thing packs up. And this is uh, Quatermass. It's more in the prog line, prog direction. It's got a uh, really nice um, psychedelic Hammond blues uh, um, track called uh, Post War Saturday Echo. And my favourite track is more orchestral in a way, but it's, uh, it's Laughing Tackle. I should check those out if you get a chance. Then we have Quintessence first album. This is also with a very elaborate cover that uh, as you open the sleeve, open the pages, it makes the cutouts, it gives a cool effect. We get that glued back together again. There's some trouble with things like this, they wear out after a while. It's on the what label is that? It's an island, isn't it? Of course, it's a pink label island. Oh, yes, there's an inner sleeve with it. Uh, I was going to get through these quickly. This, been searching for this for a long time. And I've had to put up with the uh, the single. It's not a gatefold. I can kick myself because I could have picked this up. This is uh, just for you. And uh, what about me? I could have picked the two up if I went in a Oxfam shop in uh, in London twenty years ago. But next to nothing. So, Terry Riley, Rainbow and Curved Air. Terry Riley, that's this. Shiri Camero and Terry Riley, um, Anthem of the Trinity, Celestial Valley, Across the Lake of the Ancient World. A desert, a desert of ice. Cool cover there. And conventional psychedelic Santana, the first album with the fabulous artwork. And the Braxis again. I, I found um, a gatefold copy of this, yes, but it's not in very good nick. This is my original copy. Santana Amigos. They're beginning to uh, um, sound more conventional to me. I'm, I'm not. I don't listen to this very often. But the cover artwork is special. And here's something of interest. I think somebody's shown this. Waiters of the Dance by uh, Julian J. Uh, Shavin. Uh, Fabin. This is the uh, uh, music that's based on a science fiction story. There was a second uh, album which I do remember having, but uh, I don't know where it is now. I saw it, uh, maybe it's worth 100 euro. I saw it in Comeback Records recently. And Derek showed this. Yes, you did, didn't you? Seventh Wave. I, I quite like this. 
and the, the vocals are of their time. So, it, it, for me, it's not a big deal to uh, to worry about them. The uh, second album, also I have, and this begins to get into uh, I I feel a bit more glam rock in places. I haven't listened to it for a long for a long time, so uh, I'll give it a, a spin soon. My psychedelic soft machine. I have uh, one volumes one and two on uh, on CD, but uh, this I, I do prefer the, uh, the second album to the to the first. So this is on the on the probe label. And Spirit. This is their first album. Actually, but this is a re-release, and it was titled "Best of." But it is exactly the same tracks. And actually, I, I prefer this cover. I was a bit beaten up with the sticker um, there, but uh, a, a, a cool light show picture with the uh, liquids and the mask. This is a, a, an English release, yes? Yes, I think it is. Yes, it has English um, sleeve notes from a, a, um, John Tobler from the BBC Radio 1. And we have Steamhammer Reflections. Um, Always uh, directing uh, my uh, comments to, uh, to to Derek, but uh, have you ever tried this on for size when it comes to blues? Karen White, the, the vocalist, sadly uh, passed away a few years back. the second album on on CD but I picked this up recently this is Steamhammer on the brain label I picked it up for 12 euro <laughs> basically this is mountains I think yes hold that train riding on the uh, I and M or the L and M uh, I did have the uh, mountains originally but that uh, went along with all the others and then this is uh, Penumbra, uh, the, 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 I think it was the fourth or fifth album where they were more doing uh, um, jam rock, uh, jazz rock. So that's the uh, inner sleeve there. And let's have a look at the album, the label. Yes, it is Brain Metronome. Double album. Pleased to have that. And again, Derek. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> I was given this album. I was really pleased to have that. It was in a strange collection of 80s music. And this uh, was the only thing. I, I, how it came in this collection, I don't know. But uh, I'm really pleased to have that too. There we go. I'm going to make this uh, a two-part. Uh, get one deck that into the second part. This is the last track, last um, album I'll show in this is uh, Third Ear Band. Yes, Third Ear Band, Alchemy. This is on the EMI Harvest label. And I saw them uh, live at one of the Hyde Park free concerts. I was impressed by what I heard, so I went and bought the album. Yes, it's on a, I guess, yes, and a, there's no EMI box there, so it's, it's an early, early, um, or first 
issue. Okay, I'm going to quit there and come back for the last part. See you soon.